had a child that's 61 years old. In the next one week or five days, next week, Nigeria will be 61 years old. 61 years. So many people celebrate. When you get to 60 years, they celebrate. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, Nigeria will be 61 years old. Nigeria is 61 years old. The only way we can say God will thank you is because there still appears the name called Nigeria. That's why we're thanking God. There still appears the name called Nigeria. But indeed, is there anything called Nigeria? Indeed, a country 61 years, old man of 61 years, full of enmity, full of division, hatred. 61 years old, Nigeria is still talking about enmity, hatred, division. 61 years old. You hate a state because of an individual. 61 years old child. You discriminate against some people because of their religion, because of where they come from. 61 years old. That's my dear. And we are clapping hands, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. Since one year old, where is the legislature? Since one year old, where is the legislature? A legislature that cannot think. A legislature, anything they bring is right. A legislature that cannot say that Nigeria has gotten to the edge of conducting a free and fair election. A legislator that will close their eyes every time they bring money, borrow, you borrow. Legislator that want this money we are giving you to borrow, where is it? Where are you applying it? 61 years old. The giant of Africa. Giant. 61 years old, giant of Africa. The money we are saying borrow, where are you applying it? You have no Congress to ask questions. You have a Congress, anything goes, anything they can do. Nothing will happen. That's Nigeria, 61 years old. So indeed, what are we celebrating about 61 years old? 61 years old, where are the courts? The courts have intimidated. The judges have abandoned their responsibility out of fear. Of what will happen. Yes. Intimidation. We are seeing this something that's wrong. Because if was someone in the night, they abandon their responsibility. They say, oh, anything but this one. want. It's their own. Let them do. Everybody has a responsibility. So ask yourself the question, have I done my own part? Have I, by the oath of office I took, have I done what I'm supposed to do? So it is not every 1st of October we have to have Juma service, church service, thanking God that we are alive. Fine. We are thanking God that we are alive. But are we really alive? In the sense of, are we really alive? It's not everybody who breathes is alive. It's not true. If that's the definition of life, then I don't think, I don't think that's really correct. We may come here and dance and dance. Somebody who can dance here, but is dead. The security agencies, are they doing their work? Are they not being intimidated to this Nigeria? We are celebrating 61 years old. We cannot do the right thing. Other countries are talking about how 
there are elections to be transparent. We are talking about how we will plot to rig an election in 2023. Say, put it, transmit a result electronically to show the transparency, to show that really the person you are declaring won the election is public. 61 years old. 61 years old, a man who presided and signed a report went to the Congress and voted against the report he signed. 61 years old. Can you imagine you, 61 years old, the head of the committee? You are the chairman of the committee. You signed the report of the report. You went to the house and said, I vote against the report I signed. 61 years old. Papa, how are you a father? What kind of father are you? I thought by now, we should be talking about how this country will be competing with other developed nations. I thought by now, but we are talking about ethnicity, where you come from. Leadership is no longer based on merit. Leadership is based, you are from left, or you are from right, or you are from front, or you are from back. Even when you know this man has no capacity, but simply because He's from my area. 61 years old of the country. People have stagnated, uh, have stagnated in their career. No promotion because they come from some other places. Some of their first places are this and that. They are still there. Why? They come from a particular area. 61 years old. So you see, the problem of Nigeria is not only when we say leadership of the country. No. All of us. All of us. When the church, the church has failed to perform their role. It's not a question of coming to church every day. No. When I went to Lagos last week, and my last Archbishop and Bishop, let me thank you people for the honor, award, for giving me an award. <laughs> but that award is not for me not to talk before you know. But I told you that day that the church has failed to perform their role. If you perform your role, you can stand firm. This one is happy birthday. But then this is one uh, year. Uh, if that's an achievement, achieve. And that's one year. What is it? What have you done? What is your achievement in 61 uh, year? That's what you should ask yourself. God who has given you life for 61 years. What have you used 61 years to do? What is your contribution to mankind? That is only when you can be happy to be 70 years uh, old. You cannot be happy as a father at the age of 61 years old. Your children would, won't go to school. Your children are involved in kidnapping. Your children are courses. And then you are doing birthday. God, I thank you for my life for 61 years old. No, nothing. That 61 years old has no meaning to the society. So what can we be proud of Nigeria? 61 years old Nigeria. We cannot conduct free and fair elections as a country. We cannot see people as the same. And the president of the country I discriminate against other people. I don't like this ethnic group. Is that what you should celebrate? There's another day. Today is for the church. Who are in the church? 1st of October, 
Most of you will not be there. So that's why I'm saying what I'm saying here. So if you hear I said that, they say, yes, I said it today. Do you understand me? So even you who are calling us there, what are you going to celebrate in Nigeria 61? Forget acting by the choir. Yes, I agree. You see, with all your good voices, so what? What has it resulted to? Well behavior. So my Lord and Bishop and Bishop, I thank you for the prayers you have offered for the state, for the country, and for the church. The church, the leaders of the church, you expected to show good uh, example so that things will not be. So I will before I complete, let me reply you to sing this song again. SSF five seven seven. We need help. Please, my uh, Lord, uh, uh, Archbishop, don't be angry. Not the the choir. Sing SS and S five seven seven. The first sound and the last. The choir, please. Nigeria needs God. At every time, at every hour, this is the period Nigeria needs uh, God. We need God at this point in our life. There's no any other time. The country is gone. Insecurity everywhere. And so everybody must to say, God, we need you at this time. To save this country. No more confidence in man. Leadership. Man's leadership has failed this country. And therefore, God, we need you at this time. Thank you and God bless you.